Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXC79.com. Got a really cool tutorial for you today. I actually wasn't going to make this because I uh, got sick, but um, took a nap and I'm feeling better. Um, so I figured I'd just bang it out and then, um, so yeah. Um, as you can see on the screen, we're gonna I'm going to be showing you how to create this 3D text in After Effects. Um, there are no layers or anything like that. It's all After Effects plugins um, that you get with any version of After Effects. Um, and it's fully rotatable. Um, there's no like, like I said, layers, so you can't see through it or anything like with that technique where you use layers, and it doesn't take forever like that. But um, I'm just gonna teach you how to make this. So I'm gonna make a new composition. I'm just using 1280 by 720. You can use whatever you want to use. Um, I'm going to go and create a new layer, a new solid. We're gonna make this solid the color that you want your text to be. I usually use like a grayish light gray um, like that and then you're going to create a text um, I'm just gonna say 3d text all right um, this usually needs a few spaces in between the letters to look good um, so we'll just position that in the middle and then we're going to go over here and shut it off so you can't see it um, then we're going to take the gray solid, we're going to go Effect, Simulation, Shatter. Now what this does is makes a simulated shatter of the object. So if I render it out, you can see that it kind of simulates it shattering. But what we're looking for is right on these blocks that it's shattering. You can see it turns these blocks, and if I turn it back into wireframes, um, you can see it turns it into 3D objects. Um, and that we're going to be using that to create the 3D text, um, but we're going to trick it into thinking that it's going to be shattering, um, uh, we're going to change the uh, solid into a text, so that it thinks it's shattering just a solid and it's making it, it's doing all the things it does, uh, making it 3D, and we're just going to stop it from doing that so that we can have like 3D text. Um, and what we can do if we go into shape is change the extrusion depth up so it's like cubes and stuff like that um, so we can change that all around but there's a few ways that you could create um, uh, make it think that there's text there um, we can take a pen tool and we can kind of write out what we want to say um, wow that was a fail um, But this looks kind of bad and um, will take you a long time if you're trying to do it precisely. But that does create 3D and then you could um, use the technique that I'm going to show you. But we're not going to do that because it looks like very bad. And so uh, I'll show you how we're going to do it. Basically we're going to go into the shape. We're going to go to pattern and select custom. And we're going to change the custom shatter map to the 3D text. And that's going to change the 3D solid into the 3D text, or the text for that matter. Um, and we can bring down the force, change the strength, because as you can see, it's going to make these this um, 3D, but it's also still shattering it. So we need to make sure it doesn't shatter. Um, so we go to force 1, change the strength to 0. Do the same with force 2, and we can see it now. It's just moving down now, um, which means we need to change the gravity, which is under physics. Go to gravity and change that to zero. Alright, now we just have it standing there. So what we can do is um, mess around with the extrusion depth if you want to, and then we can go to camera position, and we can change the Y rotation so that it's rotating the text, and as you can see, it's 3D. Um, and even if you scroll forward, it won't be shattering or anything like that. It's just kind of standing there. So this is a really cool way to make 3D text and be able to control it um, and um, tell it how you want it to act. Let's change this up to about one or so. Um, and you can just kind of play around with this. Um, usually I put it on a gradient so it looks a little bit better, like you saw in the beginning. Um, and then if you just want to have it sitting there, I usually have it slightly at an angle um, so that you can see the 3D. Um, but to animate this, all you would do is set a keyframe at the first frame, 
set it back to zero real quick. And then if you just want it to rotate around, we can go up to about maybe five seconds and make one rotation. So just add one to that, and it will look like nothing happened, but if you scrub through it, um, you can see the text rotating. And then as we get to here, usually I like to um, set the work end area to about right there. And then if you render a RAM preview, you can also hit uh, zero on your keypad on your computer. But uh, I'm working on my Alienware right now, and it doesn't have a keypad, so just hit the little button over there under preview and if it renders this out um, we can also set a loop like I had at the beginning so that it's looping and it looks seamless um, but I won't render that out right now but you can see how it kinda works um, we also duplicate this gray solid and just delete the shatter effect um, we can add a ramp to it and generate a gradient Usually I always do uh, black to um, blue, but that doesn't actually look too good with this. So what I've been doing is making it kind of orangish, and then down to a little bit more red. Something like that, which looks okay. Not the best, but it does, um, if you put it behind here, it does look the best with this kind of text. Um, kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you create 3D text. A uh, quick tutorial today. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, also, you can get the free effects that you saw at the beginning. You can just go to my website, hit the free special effects button at the top of the page. Download those for free. Uh, check out my website. Um, and check out Pitchwise, who made that awesome commercial at the beginning. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.